Hi guys, so I'm gonna get this video filmed before my daughter wakes up. Uh, it's currently 5 o'clock at night, so um, she is still down for her second nap today. Um, it's been a pretty rough day. Uh, we got up at 8 o'clock, got up, got her up, got her fed, you know, everything out the door by 9 and we had gotten hit with a lot of snow and stuff like that and just caused us to have a very stressful day. Um, but I wanted to do a bow sale video for you guys. So every order from now until the end of February, um, I am doing a sale so all bows are 20% off. Um, um, all orders are shipped either in, let me get one of them out here, one of these bubble mailers or in a box depending on the size of the order. 95% of my orders are shipped out in this, but there are some orders uh, that I've had from people where I've needed like a priority mailbox. Um, and I don't ship them priority mail if I have to use a box. I'll use one of those boxes, but I'll wrap it in like brown paper to avoid paying expensive shipping costs and having you guys cover it. So all boat orders are $5 shipping and again if you get that $30 shipping is free. So um there you go there's that. So I'm keeping an eye on my daughter which is that camera right there so if I turn around that's why. So I do make and sell some of these like elasticated bands for the bows. Uh, so first I will show you guys the ones that I do have. Um, I don't make very many of these like scalloped ones. Is that what it's called? Like ruffle one? Ruffle. I don't make very many of these ruffle ones just because the elastic is much more expensive. It's like $3 more I believe. Um... But I do have that one, and then I have this, like, purpley one here, and then I've got a little cat collar if anyone's interested. This is just one that I had made extra, so it's got a little, little bell on it, but the bell can easily be taken off with a pair of pliers. Um, it's a glittery purple type pink. Uh, collar with the purple bow attached um, but then I've got the traditional like headbands they're not the nylon though if that makes sense so you've got this dark blue one you've got a yellow um, this one is a dark purple 95% of bows and headbands come in these little elastic or these little plastic baggies. Um, these two are out because I was showing people, or I should say these four are out. I was showing people how the bows clip onto them and stuff like that. I've got this teal headband, a hot pink one, a light blue one, another purple, another teal. A bunch of empty bags. <laughs> Another yellow. I've got a light purple or lilac. And then I've got just a black. Um, I do believe I can make you or make some gray and some whites. Um, I just don't have any of those at the moment. Um, I put away my sewing needles for my bows that I use. Um, I put those away when she was born. I will dig them out though if if needed so that I can provide you guys with some other colors and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this yellow one out so I can show you guys how certain bows clip on. So I make a couple different styles of bows. This tote is so cold. Um, so I make some of these 
bows with tails is what I call them. They're little bows and they've got the little tails hanging off of them. Um, I make little baby bows. These are my favorite for Ella right now. I make some of those. Um, this one, I love these ones. I have a bunch of different ones of these. Um, these I call the Christmas gift bow. So these will need fluffed whenever they come out. You just kind of, you know, fluff them forward. Um, but they're little gift bows. And the clip is there. So these are pretty secure. Um, everything is sewed on except for this top little circle one. And obviously the clip, but there's a piece of fabric around the clip. If you guys can see that white fabric or that white ribbon, uh, that is actually sewed in. And then the like pieces of the fabric fold over underneath the clasp, clasp of the bow um, so that it helps, like it stays on there. Um, so there is that one. Like I said, I have a bunch of different ones like that. Um, I have some baby bows like these. I don't have, I think this is my last set of these ones. I don't have any more of this holly ribbon. But I've got this one. And all bow orders can be customized. So if you see a bow, like if you like this style bow, just let me know and I can try to find a ribbon that suits your needs. Um, and they do get a little bit more expensive that way because I do have to go out and specifically buy that ribbon or that pattern for you uh, and your order. And it's only like, I think a dollar more per special bow ribbon that I need. Um, so if you wanted something like this, this would probably be $2 extra upcharge because I would probably need to go out and buy two of the ribbons. Um, however, that's not that bad. Um, and then I do have that ribbon, so if you like that like style, I can make more for you guys or what have you. Then there's this one. This is a two-piece set as well, and they're little bunny ears. So I think this is my only set of this one too. Um, so these are the little bunny ears. They have the barrette clips on the back. Uh, here's another one of those gift bow styles. Oh, I've got some ice cream cones that I've made. So obviously this is a chocolate ice cream cone with a little white something or other on top. I don't know, little like sprinkle, not sprinkle, but then this one, if you guys can guess, it's a mint chocolate chip with a little pink cherry. I didn't have any red, so I went with pink. Um, but yeah, they're little ice cream cones that are on alligator clips. I think these are super adorable. <clears throat> let's see, let's see. I thought this one would be perfect for like a baby gender reveal because it's blue and pink of that gift bow style. Um, I've got ones like this. They're a two type or two tier bow. They have a little gem or rhinestone in the center. Um, I do have a Star Wars baby bow. Let's see, got a little reindeer. Oops. Uh, a little baby bow with a pink, or a, yeah, pink, a yellow stripe in the center. We've got some of these fabric flowers. I'm just gonna kind of pull out a couple different bows to show you guys 
right now. There's a big ice cream cone. I didn't love how this one turned out, but there's that one. Bear with me, you guys. I'm just trying to find some different styles to, like, show you guys to make this a little quicker and, like, easier. Oh, excuse me. Alright, there's two others that I want to find. I just don't know if I'll be able to. I forgot about that one. Where the heck is it? I know I didn't sell them. Those ones I figured would be like something people would be interested in. But then they ended up like nobody was interested in them. Oops, I don't know. Alright, I'll show you guys these and then I believe that's all of the styles that I have. Okay. So, uh, hang on one second. <laughs> All right, I'm back. I had to go and, uh, anyways, so I have this one. I'm going to just go ahead and pull these out of bags. It's easier. This one I like. It is a crisscross Christmas bow with bells. So you guys can see the green and the red are on opposite sides as opposed to like this one where they're both on the top or the bottom. So this one is a crisscross one and if you guys listen, it's not wanting to do it. They do kind of jingle. I don't know why these ones don't really want to though, but... Yeah, these ones have two little bells that I sewed together and then like hot glued on there. Um, but yeah, this is a really cute Christmas bow. I can make all bows like this style with the opposite sides. Um, they do just cost a little bit extra because they do take a lot more time to make these ones. But there's that style. We've got these two that are pretty much the same, I believe, except for, yeah. So I'll show you guys these. So these ones, like I said, they're practically the same. They are the, like, most common type of bow that you guys see. The only difference is some have the, like, cut out let me see if I can I'm trying to like show it to you guys you guys see what I'm talking about it's got like the V type shape please don't go to sleep with your camera or your camera oh my gosh and then these ones just have the straight across cut edges This one is the only one of this one that I have, um, and I probably won't make more unless you guys are interested. I'm not a, in love with how this one turned out at all, but it's a little panda. 
and the clip is green to kind of symbolize like bamboo he's a hollow hollow bow like I said I'm not in love with how he turned out so I only make made one of him you've got this one which I mean I think it's okay but again not one of my favorites it's this like Valentine's Day bow. It's got rhinestones down the center. There are four rhinestones. It's red and white. And then the clip here is pink. It's like perfect for Valentine's Day. It's just not something I loved how it turned out. This one is by far one of my favorites. And that's a Mickey Mouse bow. It's got the little buttons and everything. The yellow for like to symbolize his shoes and stuff like that. You've got the black which is like his ears or his like shirt. My nose is so itchy. Um, and then you've got the black with the or the red with the buttons to kind of symbolize his shorts. Then I'm not going to touch anything else with this hand just because, I mean, I did just kind of scratch my nose. But then you've got ones like these. They are kind of like, kind of like these ones with the double ribbon on them, but they are a much bigger double bow style. So you've got the two type, like two tier of bows. These have little leaves all over them. I adore this leaf ribbon. Um, I got it off of like offline so I don't know if I'll be able to find any more. Um, it's got the green center. I love this leaf ribbon though. Then you've got a couple of fabric bows. I don't do fabric bows anymore. Um, just because they don't sell these ones I'm about to pull and rip the piece off of them because they are just after I put them in the bags they just don't fluff like they're supposed to so I'm not even going to waste my time showing you guys those I'm just going to pull those and pitch them <clears throat> um, you've got this one this fabric bow it's got a knot um right here in the center this is a pink with little white anchors I don't know if you guys can even see these but yeah it's got little anchors all through it it is on a barrette clip oh, gosh my nose is so itchy right now then there's this one it is like the Christmas one with the two-tone like colors only this one would be extra because it does have little rhinestones on all of the white polka dots um except for this one because of where it was placed but yeah you've got this one you've got one sort of similar to that one only it's not the two tier um mismatch type it's just a solid two-piece bow this is blue with green polka dots this one is one of my favorites I have not sold him yet and I'm kind of happy but I'm also going to be kind of sad to see him go because I mean he's cute but I don't need to keep it because I already have a ton of bows for myself um but it's a little sonic it's a, like a little hedgehog um and I can make them I have made them in like normal traditional colors with the dark brown like spiky things here um and a light brown face um I do not remember how to make them at the moment, but I could easily remember and get it figured out. But yeah, he's cute. His little eyes, he has little Google eyes. Um, I think he is just adorable though. He is on an alligator clip. 
But yeah, I call that one Sonic. Um, then the last that I see are these ones that I have in here. Um, there is one style that I do not have any more of ready for you guys. Um, so I'll have to go and grab one out of my bathroom. But these ones... Okay, she's still asleep. These ones I love. Oh, those are supposed to be like that. Let me get all three of these out to show you guys. So these guys are $3 a piece. They are a little bit more on the expensive side for my bows. Um, just because of the amount of work slash time slash products. Like ribbons I need to use. Can anyone guess what they are? That's right. They're Ninja Turtles. <laughs> um, so this one is... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Michelangelo. That one's Michelangelo. You got Raphael. That's Raphael, right? I know all the names, I just can never remember the colors except for Michelangelo. Uh, you've got the blue one, which I believe is Donatello. And then I do have a purple one somewhere. Um, I just, I cannot seem to find it. That's who I was looking for in the tote. But I just cannot seem to find him. Um, Leonardo. But... Yeah, so I've got all three of the Ninja Turtles, or all four of the Ninja Turtles. I just cannot find him at the moment. So, real quick, show you guys. All of the elastic bands have a section going in the opposite direction. And the clips, the bright clips, you just squeeze this section here. That piece will pop open. You thread the piece that popped open through the hole. Clasp it. And now you've got your bow on a headband. Um, bows can be made on headbands instead of clips. However, I honestly prefer making them on the like clips and then this way because then bows can be interchanged with every headband um if say she's got an outfit on that is blue green and yellow you can take this bow put it on this band and there you go or if she has one that is yellow and black you could take this one. You could take that blue and green polka dotted one off. Take this one. And place it onto the band. And bada bing, bada boom, there you go. Um, you don't have to have multiple different bands of the same color for different bows. Um, you don't have to... Um, try to find the best bow that will match with her outfit. Um, you can mix and match the bands. So say it was green or blue or oh my gosh, black, yellow, and pink. I don't know. Um, I can make the pink headbands and you can put this on it and there you go. Um, it's a lot simpler to me and it saves you guys money to do it that way. And all, each and every one of these bands, like I previously mentioned, are a dollar each. That's not bad. Um, and then as they grow older and start wearing bows clipped into their hair, you can take these, you can throw them away, you can recycle them, you can pack them away for future kids. Give them to a friend or family that needs them. And then you can just clip the bow directly into the hair. And there you go. 
Um, it's just a lot simpler, a lot easier, and you get a lot more use out of your bows than you would if they were built directly onto the headbands. So, um, I am going to show you guys the rest of the bows that I have, like rapid fire, just so you guys can see the design with the colors. Um, and any bows that you guys would like, just take a screenshot of and message me over on my Facebook group or um, over on Instagram. Both of those links are down in the description. You guys can just take a screenshot, send me those pictures and be like, hey, how much would this be? And then we can kind of go back and forth from there and get complete your order. Um, all orders will be shipped out within four business days. So that's me getting your bows ready, packaged, and over to the post office. Um, unless you have a custom order, then it may take a little longer because I do have to go to the store, get the specific ribbon color. I will have to come home, tend to my daughter, then in my free time, make the bow and then get it packaged up and ready for shipping. So uh, bear with me while if you guys have custom bows, but other than that, four business days at the very latest. Um, and I will provide you guys a picture of your bows before getting placed into the envelope or box. You guys will receive a picture of the package as soon as it's packaged up with your address to make sure it's correct. Then you guys will receive the tracking number and estimated date of arrival within the four business days. So I'm going to show you guys these rapid fire rule. Okay, so these are the gift bow styles. Cheetah print, solo blue polka dot, green, red polka dot, pink polka dot, mint green polka dotted line. Blue and purple. All right, I'm not gonna dig, I'm just gonna kinda pick and grab. Um, double stacked bow. Another solid blue of the um, gift bow style. Black and pink camo, double stacked wrapped bow. This is like that Star, War Star Wars one. This one here. It's this that style. Um, I just call I'm gonna call them hand wrapped. This one has a rhinestone in the center. Another hand wrapped gray and yellow polka dot. Double stacked bow. I do have these ones too. These are double tier bows or whatever. It's got an, a bow with another bow on top. One big bow with knot on the center. Purple and white striped baby bow. Got another one of these ones that I showed you guys before. Another one of the gray and white, or gray and yellow polka dot uh, hand wrapped bow. A mint green and white polka dot hand wrapped bow. Blue and pink double stacked bow. Pink and white polka dot double stacked bow. Pink zebra print uh, gift bow. Hot pink um, gift bow. I don't even know what this one is. I don't, I don't know what it's trying to do, but there's that one. A big hand wrapped bow. That thing is massive compared to what I normally make. A white with mint, a white with mint green polka dots and a mint green with white polka dot double stacked bow. We've got a pink zebra print uh, double stacked bow. Black below, back, black bow with orange and white polka dotted center. Pink camo gift style bow. Dark blue polka dot style gift style gift bow. Um, this one here is definitely gonna need some major fluffing, but it's a red, white, and blue striped 
gift bow, a hot pink bow with tails, a star fabric bow. This does not have a knot in the center. I really hope these are picking up on camera. This green and brown double stacked bow. Another one of these. This is one big bow with a hot pink knot center. That one I'm going to pitch. That one I'm going to pitch. This is a white and gray polka dot gift style bow. This one is a fabric bow. Um, it is yellow and has rhinestones on all of the polka dots. <clears throat> that one I'm going to pitch. This one I'm not sure what it is, what it's trying to do. There's that one. Red, white, and blue polka dot gift style bow. Double stacked orange and yellow. Pitch. This is like one of the smaller ones that I showed you guys earlier. It's literally the same, just a little bit bigger. Another hot pink gift style bow. Another one of those pink or white and purple crisscross bows. Crisscross double stack bow. You've got another one of the black with the yellow stripe in the center. And you've also got a double stack, or no, this is one big bow with two stripes. Pitch. Have another white, or oh my gosh, why can I not say my colors? Yellow and black polka dot with black center baby bow. A dark brown and light pink polka dotted gift bow. Another one of these yellow with the rhinestone polka dots. Pink zebra print uh, baby bow. Hand wrap bow. It is a green and pink polka dot with a little watermelon center. Red, white, and blue striped gift, or red and white red white and blue striped bow with tails there we go that one I'm gonna pitch we've got a spider Halloween double stacked gift double stacked bow you've got these two of the like two tier type bows that I showed you guys earlier this one is white with blue polka dots with blue with white polka dots white with purple and purple with white A pink and white striped this one's not like the hand wrap bow this one's a little bit different so I'll show you guys this one real quick I don't make this style anymore they never sold I didn't care to make them and I don't like how they sit um, but there's that one if you guys are interested in that this is a two-tier white bow You've got a white with dark purple polka dot hand wrap bow. Uh, you do have a pink and white striped like the hand wrap bows. There's this one. This one is a three tier um, one and it's Marvel, I believe. It's got Captain America, Batman, Wonder Woman, Flash, Superman, um, Green Lantern on these bows. You've got a ghost fabric bow. There's actually two of those. This one here has rhinestones on the two sets of eyes that you can see on the ghosts. A gray double stack with a dark purple and light blue polka dotted center. And this one is a orange with yellow polka dots with a yellow with orange polka dot center double stack bow um this one's sitting in the bag all weird i'm not sure why but um and then of this style bow here i also have a green and white striped one as well um and that's it for these bows that i have in here 
Um, let me go and grab the ones. I'll just take you guys in with me, show you guys the ones from the bathroom that are all custom orders. All right, guys, so here's my little bin of bows. Some of these I did not make. Some of them I did. Most of them I did. But there's this style of bow. These are the corker bows that I did make for like for myself by myself um, but I can make these for you guys just choose any two to three colors preferably three um, yeah three colors um, for these this style if you would like these ones do take a little bit extra because I do have to bake the ribbon first um, to get it to hold the curl but yeah then these are my flower bows so I've got that one got that one got that one so um, a lot of the bows I do end up keeping for myself because I love them so much um, and then I have this flower one as well which this is my ultimate favorite <clears throat> um, then I do have some butterfly clips that I can make these take two to three colors, preferably three, but two will work. Um, so I've got that one. See, there's one made with three or two colors. The other one was made with three. Um, I've got a like birthday cake type. Um, ice cream cone it's like the like a vanilla with sprinkles with a cherry on top got a little ducky um, I think that's pretty much it of the styles that you guys haven't seen that I do make um, I do have the red and light pink hearts I can add to a center of a bow um, this is another one of my favorites. It's a neon orange. It's not showing up that great on camera, but um, And then this one here is another one of my favorites. I don't have any more of this keep calm and hide behind Daryl ribbons, but it's a walking dead ribbon um, Then there's this hand wrapped bow with two types of ribbon on it. These ones are very difficult So they're a lot more pricey um, but yeah, if you guys have any questions about pricing or anything like that, screenshot someone that you're interested in and I can let you guys know a total price, um, or how much each individual bow is if you guys would be interested. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for this bow sale slash bow show video. Hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys all next time. Bye.